Well, greetings, Mr. Colazar's class. We're going to begin our last major chapter on acids and bases. And what we're going to look into is our objectives were attached to the note packet this time. We're going to look at the physical and chemical properties of both acids and bases. And in this section, we're also going to look as a solution to be acidic, basic, or neutral by definition. So to look at our first substance and our primary one, water. Water is going to do what we call self-ionize to produce both the hydronium and hydroxide ions. And to look at this, if we were to think about water, going back to our Lewis dot structures, water H2O is bonded to a second water. So quick review there. And a second hydro uh, water, H2O, a lone pair of electrons around each water. Our two water molecules are going to literally have one hydrogen taken away from and given to the other hydrogen or to the other water to make what we see is the H3 positive or hydronium ion. So the ion that has gained an extra H plus is our hydronium ion. The other part now has lost that hydrogen and it becomes our hydroxide ion. So it has lost an hy our hydrogen positive and has become the OH minus. This side has gained that hydrogen plus to become the hydronium ion. This side is going to be kind of known as our acid and the OH hydroxide is going to be our base side. And so water will self-ionize, a small portion of water will self-ionize into water molecules or from two water molecules to make the H+, known as the H3O, or the hydronium ion, and the hydroxide, or the OH-. Now similar equation, you know, this is the key one here, our similar equation is just the simplified version, where we just take one water molecule and it's just broken in to our H plus and our OH minus side. And in both cases, we start out with water being a liquid, and in both other cases, it ends up being aqueous. So this would be the acid side, and this would be the base part of the self-ionization of water. Now with acids, if an aqueous solution, if something is dissolved into water, and it produces or it contains more H plus, then we're going to call it acidic. So our acidic side would be if a substance starts to contain more H plus, whereas a basic solution, when something is dissolved in water, aqueous solution, you end up producing or it contains more OH. So if it contains more OH, we become more on the basic side versus the acid side. If the two H plus and OH minus, if the acid and bases are equal to each other, then we're going to call it neutral. An example of neutral, pure water is neutral. Some properties of acids bases. Acids taste sour. They have a pH of less than 7. So anywhere between either 1 and 0 and 7. So our H plus concentration is much greater when it's in an aqueous solution. And they react with hydrogen, or excuse me, they react with metal stills to produce hydrogen gas. Bases taste bitter. Their pH is greater than 7. Remember, neutral would equal 7. So it's got to be greater than 7. Hydroxide OH minus is greater than the H plus. They feel slippery or soapy. It's a literally the chemical reaction occurring that sloughs your skin off your hands, so careful handling bases. Both are corrosive. Both are electrolytes in water. I mean, when they dissolve in water, they can conduct electricity. And they react with each other to produce salt and water. And salt is, remember, any non-metal plus a metal is going to be a salt. I wrote that backwards like NaCl. 
So let's just switch those two around. So those are some of the properties of acids and bases.